Resolution options are pretty important if you want to release a uh, more finished product. So I decided to make this video on window resizing and full screen. So when people think of window resizing, they generally think of the normal resizing of a window that you do by clicking the edge of the window and dragging around. Uh, and that's one way to do it. Personally, I like to have fixed resolutions that my applications can run at since I typically work with pixel art. Uh, using fixed resolutions, I can make things look nice but still scale to certain sizes that fit the needs of the user. As long as you're not doing pixel art, normal resizing generally works fine. Although you may have to do some math with some of your visual elements to make it look nice. So what I've got here is a screen declaration here where I use the flag pygame.resizable. Uh, you can put different flags here and one of them is actually pygame.fullscreen, but pygame.resizable makes a window that you can resize. Pretty simple loop here, it just kind of runs things and you can exit it. One thing I've added right here is just drawing a rect on the screen, it's a red rect, and its placement is relative to the right edge of the screen. It subtracts five and then it subtracts a fifth of the width of the screen. The top of it is put at uh, 50Y and then the width is a fifth of the screen's width and then the height is 50Y. So basically it's bound to the right edge of the window. Its width is relative to the window size and then the rest of the stuff is just static values. Uh, this is just a demonstration to show how you can make elements adapt to your window size. In this case, it adapts with width and its position. So let's take a look at what happens when I run this. This won't work properly because uh, there's something I need to point out. All right, so I've got the window here. If I hover over here, you can see I've got the resizing icon for my cursor so I can resize this window. But here's the issue. I can resize it, but it doesn't really do anything. I, even though I'm calling screen.fill with this bluish color, it's not filling the whole screen. The issue here is that the screen size isn't adjusting to the actual size of the window. So the screen is still defined as 500 by 500. And there's a way to update this and you do it through the uh, events. So let's go back to the code. And we need to add a new event here or handling new event. If event dot type is video resize. This happens when there's an event for the uh, window changing size. And what we need to do here is redefine the screen when this event occurs so that the screen's resolution fits the new size of the window. So I could just copy and paste this. And then for the X value, I'm gonna put event.w, that's the width value of the video resize event, and event.h. These are properties of the video resize event and you can use them to tell what the new uh, window size is. So I'm just re-declaring the screen here and this should fix that issue. So let's take a look at that. All right, got a window here and I'm gonna resize it like this. You still see that issue where it's not resizing as I'm clicking. But once I release, it resizes. And you can see this rect stretched because to fit the new 10th of the screen width and its position is still bound to the right edge of the, the window. This is how you make elements adjust with the window size. So I can do all sorts of stuff. I can make it pretty small, I can make it really big. I can just do this. That's not full screen though. So uh, next I'd like to implement full screen stuff. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out here is that my video recording software doesn't work too well with uh, full screen stuff. Uh, I can record full screen stuff, but it's a completely different setup and I can't, there's no good way for me to record the transition itself. So I'm, I'm just going to have to write the code for it, but I won't be able to actually really demonstrate this. So first of all, we need to create a full screen variable. And then we want an option to toggle this, which I'll bind to a key. Full screen equals not full screen. That just toggles it because that's how booleans work. And if full screen, I redefine screen and I use pygame.fullscreen. Although I can't use these values here. Um, I'll fill those in in a moment. Else and then I'll do pygame.resizable again. For these resolution values, I'm gonna do screen.getWidth and screen.getHeight. 
I'm just going to copy and paste this over. And then the video resize event is actually called when, you, when it switches to full screen. So you don't want it to switch the flag back to pygame.resizable whenever you try to switch to full screen. So you need to do if not full screen here. So this only activates when the game is not supposed to be full screen. Because remember, this is what adjusts the surface size when you resize the window. When you switch to full screen, it already adjusts the surface size it, right here. Although these values aren't good enough, Pygame has some issues with full screen. If you put this in here, it'll kind of scale it and blur it a bit, but it will probably not even fit the uh, display properly. Typically, people expect that the resolution will change to the resolution of their monitor when they click full screen. With Pygame, it'll take whatever resolution it is and like stretch it in a weird way. I'll try to put a picture up if possible of what that looks like since I can't really show you that easily. So in Pygame, if you want the full screen mode to fit the resolution of your display, uh, there's a few extra steps you need to do. You need to actually get the monitor size before you create the display in the first place. So I'm going to create a monitor size variable here. It's going to be a list with two values. The first value is going to be pygame.display.info.currentw. That is the width of the display. I'll copy and paste this and switch this to h, so that's the height of the display. The thing about using display.info is that normally it just gets the display dimensions. If you haven't created a display yet, which you do with this line, it takes the dimensions of the monitor that's active. So if I save these values before the window is created, I can use these when I call the full screen to create a resolution to properly show the full screen stuff. So in here, I'm just going to do monitor size for the resolution. And that will run it at the proper size for the monitor. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I can't really show you this in the recording. I'll try and take a picture or something and put it up in the video so you can see it. So I'll press F here. And it works properly, but of course you can't see what's going on because my uh, recording just went black. That's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in my projects, you can check out my Twitter. And if you have some questions, you can join my Discord server and ask questions there. I've got a channel dedicated to questions where I can answer them pretty quickly. Although I still do check the questions on this video. I just don't get to them very fast. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.